Hey, everybody, and welcome back to another edition of The Third Degree. I'm your host, Sid Rosenberg, and today I'm joined by former defensive back and Hall of Famer, Dallas Cowboy quarterback Roger Staubach once said, the best cover corner he ever had to face. It's all-time St. Louis Cardinal great Roger Worley. Roger, good afternoon, pal. Well, uh, how are you doing? Glad to be with you. Nice to have you. And, and Roger Staubach says something like that. You see, to me, and you both have the same name, Roger, but when this generation, Roger Worley, argues about the best quarterbacks of all time, they're ready to throw in Joe Montana, Dan Marino, John Elway, Tom Brady, Peyton Manning. And I always say, hey, what about Roger Staubach? Well, you agree with that? What a great, great athlete he was. You know, we had to face him twice every year being in the same division. And uh, you knew if you played well against him, you, you, did, you had done something good because he was a great athlete. He was able to scramble. He was a great passer. And uh, Dallas was always a tough uh, foe for us. Yeah, they were. And at the same time, I was talking to your old quarterback just a couple of days ago, Jim Hart, a guy, Roger, that threw for nearly 35,000 yards in his career, threw for over 200 touchdowns in his career. But because your football team in St. Louis didn't have the postseason success of a Starback or a Bradshaw in that era, I feel like, Roger, your old teammate, Jim Hart, gets overlooked. How about that? Well, I, I agree with you very much. Uh, you know, facing him every day in practice, I knew how good he was. He was a great passing quarterback, and I don't see anyone, you know, even today that, that throws the ball any purer uh, with better accuracy than he threw the ball. And, uh, you know, facing he and uh, guys like Mel Gray uh, in our receiver core was, uh, was good practice every day. Boy, if you knew you could cover those guys, you didn't have any trouble in the game. See, and that was the thing about your team. You mentioned Mel Gray. You also had a young Bobby Moore who became a Madras shot in Minnesota. You had Roy Green. And I was talking to Dan Deardorff today about this, Roger, and offensively, no problems. Four great Hall of Fame, you know, offensive linemen with Deardorff in the Hall of Fame and Conrad Dobler, Terry Metcalf and Otis in the backfield. Uh, you had Jackie Smith, the Hall of Fame tight end. So it always seems like offensively you guys had the firepower, but it seemed like on your side of the football, Roger, and you're a Hall of Famer, it's not your fault, but on your side of the football, your team seemed to have their, your team seemed to have their troubles. Well, we had a, in the mid-70s when we were at our best uh, during those years, I think we had a solid defense, but maybe not the name players that we had on offense. And I think uh, when Coriel was here, uh, you know, he was uh, an offensive coach. He loved to coach that offense and come up with plays, devised plays to open up uh, Mel Gray and open up Terry Metcalf and those guys. And uh, so uh, the defense did get possibly a little bit overlooked, uh, although uh, we did have a solid defense but just needed some help in the draft, which we never seemed to be able to get during those years. Yeah, and you're kind of one step in those years. I know you lost a playoff game to Minnesota. You lost a playoff game to the Rams. Dallas was always better as well. So it just seemed like offense, you were right there. But your defense, although solid, Roger, kind of a step behind teams like Minnesota, Dallas, the Rams. That's fair, right? Well, I think that's probably a, a fair summation. Uh, and, uh, you know, we wished we could have kept that group together so we could build that defense up a little more and then uh, be one of the elite in the league, but that just didn't happen. You know, you look back at your era and the defensive backs. I spoke to Paul Krause the other day, the great Minnesota Vikings, still leads the NFL all time with 81 picks. Roger, you had 40 picks, both you guys in the Hall of Fame. And you see the relationship between defensive back and wide receiver in your era, which was physical, and you guys beat the hell out of each other. Now with the rule changes, you got to be pretty amazed by defensive backs that are actually successful today. Is that fair to say? Well, the, all of the rule changes over the years have certainly uh, opened up the passing game. Uh, you know, they've, they're not allowed to hit the receivers downfield past 10 yards or past 5 yards, and uh, all the uh, different rule changes for the offensive line have given them a little more uh, leeway in, in uh, reaching out and, and holding on to, to the defensive uh, pass rushers. So, uh, so yeah, I think it's a more wide open game, and uh, and you're right. The the defensive back is uh, kind of left out there by himself with not a whole lot of weapons. How about the wide receivers today, Roger? You know the guys that get all the credit. You know, T.O. or Chad Johnson. You got Steve Smith. Two guys that are actually real good players that don't talk very much. Andre Johnson in Houston, and the kid we're going to see uh, coming up here, Larry Fitzgerald for the Cardinals. Magnificent players. Look at the wide receivers today, and how do they compare to the guys you went up against during the, uh, the 1970s? Well, of course, uh, you know, I think uh, you have the, the guys like Fitzgerald. He's just an amazing athlete. Uh, you know, we had 
some great athletes back then also. But, uh, you know, it's hard to compare era to era. I think the players are probably bigger today uh, for the most part, uh, especially in the line and linebacker positions. Uh, the speed, you know, probably a little faster. Uh, so it's it's hard to compare era to era. We, we had our great ones, and, and they have their great ones today. Well, who were some of the guys that gave you fits? Was it a Drew Pearson in Dallas? Uh, Played inside your division. Actually, when you started in 69, you weren't in Dallas's division, but that would change. Who were some of the guys that you faced on a regular basis that gave you fits? Well, Pearson was a great receiver, just a, a solid receiver, you know, all-around receiver. When I first came in, I think Charlie Taylor was one of the, one yeah. of the tough ones. He was big, strong, ran great patterns. Uh, a guy like Harold Carmichael was always a, a challenge because of his height and, uh, and athletic ability. Uh, Bob Hayes, uh, you know, in Dallas, you always had to worry about his speed and, uh, you know, world-class speed, probably. The, uh, and so uh, so all those, you know, we had the, the speed receivers, the, the athletic receivers, the, uh, the receivers that, uh, you know, had height advantage. So uh, uh, you look at, like today, uh, uh, Fitzgerald is just having a phenomenal playoff. Uh, you know, what an athlete, as I said before. You know, he's got the great hands. He has the athletic ability to jump and, and just uh, go up over receivers even when he's double covered. And so, uh, you know, it's fun to watch those guys. Yeah, he's a complete package, no question about it. And learn from, from some of the very best as a youngster, a ball boy in Minnesota when they had guys like Randy Moss, Chris Carter, and Jay Creed. Okay, finally then here, Roger, you're a star for the Cardinals. You're in the Hall of Fame. As a Cardinal, I, you know, I've asked Deardorff and I've asked Jim Hart this and a bunch of your old teammates and everybody's picking the Cardinals who played in St. Louis. Will you have the guts to take the Steelers today? <laughs> oh, I think so, yeah. I think, you know, they're playing so well. They've got, uh, I think it's going to be a good matchup. Uh, uh, you know, if, if they can protect Warner and, uh, and give him some time, uh, you know, the Cardinals have the receivers, as we said before, to get open. They've got a pretty good running game that's gotten to go through the playoffs, and their defense is uh, is playing very well. That was the weak spot uh, that was a little questionable coming into the playoffs, and they've really stepped it up and, and doing well. So I think it's going to be a great game. Our right, last one, about a minute to go here. On the third degree with Hall of Fame cornerback Roger Worley, the former great Cardinal. Coming up the day before the game, Roger, a big-time golf tournament. You and a bunch of your Hall of Fame brethren raising money for some of the players that aren't faring too well these days. You can learn more about the golf event at www.opensports.com backward slash HOF for Hall of Fame, backward slash HOF players. So you're going to play in that golf tournament. What does that golf tournament mean to you? Well, I think a lot of the players that played in my year, obviously we didn't make the money that the players are making now. And, uh, and a lot of the guys have uh, injuries that uh, – really they can't afford to have because there's no medical insurance and, and things like that, and the pension is not nearly as, uh, as good as it is now for the players that are playing these days. So, uh, so this golf tournament, along with others that we have uh, in the uh, uh, in Trini's assistant fund, uh, puts money in the, in the fund that, that guys that are in need uh, have some funds that they can draw from. And I think it's, it's very important. I know that... Uh, the league and, and the new uh, commissioner is looking at some changes that need to be made uh, to help some of the players from our era. And uh, hopefully this golf tournament and others that we have will, uh, will aid that. Absolutely. It's uh, good work, Roger. Well, it's great to talk to you, buddy, and some great days out there in St. Louis. Good luck to your Cardinal football team in the Super Bowl, and thanks for hopping on today. Well, thank you very much. You got it. Roger Willie's interrogation is over, and so is this show. But, of course, make sure you tune in to OpenSports.com every day where the future of sports on the web is open. We'll see you next time. Think you can complete the drive? Play today and get an automatic entry to win daily prizes, two tickets to the big game, and a brand new car. Start your drive today at OpenSports.com.